Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be seeing how we can configure npm scripts. So it can be done through package.json file. Okay, under this script tag. Okay. So if you remember, we were typing the commands uh, from the terminal. Okay, to ease out the process, we can write this in script. Okay, let me do that. Let me add a key named test and we can type the command itself. Here need not to write npx, you can directly write playwright test, okay? And to execute this, you will be typing npm test. It will run the test in headless mode. Wait for a few seconds. Okay, now. There are use cases that uh, you want to run the test in headed mode, okay, when you are doing local development of script. And when you are doing, uh, or the execution you need to happen on CICD tool, it need to be in headless mode, right? So we can add one more tag here, okay, and say test headless, okay? And let me give this a month. Okay, this will be for headless. And because I want to use test tag for the lo local development. So we can use the parameter headed. Okay, so when you do NPM test, it will be executing the test on your local environment, invoking the browser and running the test on the browser, okay? Suppose when you are doing the execution on CI CD tool, you can use this tag test colon headless. It will run the test in headless mode, okay? So, and remember one thing that when you are running this script, you have to use NPM run, then test colon headless. So let's see how we can do this npm run test headless, hit enter. Wait for a few seconds, it will be running the test in headless mode. That's it, just passed. Okay. So any of the command line uh, scripts or uh, commands can be used with the script itself, okay? Suppose you wanted to specify the browser, you want to specify the configuration file, timeout, reporters, anything you can use here, okay? And you just need to write npm test and to execute the test with the all the parameters which uh, you have mentioned here, okay? It just gives the ability to reduce your, uh, or shorten your command. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching this video.